today we are unboxing the Dedrick Armor Statue Skyrim Dedrick Armor Statue by Gaming Heads. This is the Excusa that I have over here, which comes with an, uh, an extra shield and head. So uh, it was 370, 365 US dollars for Gaming Heads, and it's a limited edition of 500. Um, it's 1 6 scale, so I think it's about 18 inches tall or something like that. Okay, so here we have the box, and here's the front with the armor and the exclusive head, pretty nice. Here we have pictures of the statue, and here a description and your product number, so I got number 75 out of 500, and another picture of the statue over here, and um, this guy him on the top. So let's just open this up. So I've got my authentication card over here and this is the statue. So let's assemble this. Have the base. Need three batteries. Let's just put this in there. Get the body over here. Okay, this is the black head, black face head, exclusive head over here. We got the axe over here, the sword. Let's just put it here. And the exclusive shield. So, and the painted head, and the light up, it's pretty cool, <laughs> so let's just um, move this a bit, alright, so this is the black head that he has on, uh, this is more accurate this is what it looks like in the game when you're playing the game you don't see your face when you're wearing the dead rig armor so this is more accurate uh, here we have the uh, regular axe and let's just put on the exclusive shield which I think looks better they both look nice but I prefer the shield Let's just change the head. I'm gonna put the painted one over here. It's pretty nice. And the exclusive head over here, which I really don't like all that much. It's a dark elf, and eh, I don't know, not too much my kind of uh, head. Uh, so let's start things with a size comparison. Uh, this is about, it's a bit over 18 inches tall. Uh, because of the sword and here it is with the nightingale and glass armor statue and with the shrine of Juliano's by gaming heads and Here with the dragonborn statues by gaming heads So we have the one six scale dragonborn Dragonborn boost we have the female dragonborn by chronicle collectibles and we have Talos by gaming heads as well so it's pretty cool to have uh, these two together. I think they're my favorite of the scroll pieces. So, now here's my 360 view of the statue with uh, the light off and then the light on. And now let's look at the details on this and overall it looks pretty good um, with both the shield or the axe if you can't get the exclusive uh, it's fine you know I think the axe looks nice as well um, so the um, we have the face over here and the detail of it is pretty nice I like the eyes he has those kind of super bright eyes with the blood in them uh, the blood around could look better, could be better painted, 
but the eyes themselves look pretty good. Uh, we have the body over here with the light up. Light up looks pretty good. Um, so here we have the feet and the face. Face looks fine. It's it's I mean it's rock. <laughs> That's it. And uh, it's just a it's basically just a black and gray paint. So this is what it looks like with the light off and. You see, it's really just black and gray, so uh, I feel like the, the gray paint app could look a little better overall, but it looks it looks good. It could look better, but it looks good. Uh, the light up, that said, looks pretty, pretty good. It looks really good. It's really badass. And it's kind of cool that when it's off, you don't see that there's a light up. It's pretty nice. We have the sword over here, the dark sword, and... The shield. She looks pretty good overall. Um, so yeah, I think it has a nice paint job. Really, really nice um, light up feature. And the gray paint could look a little better. It could be a little more precise, but yeah, overall it's not too bad. Um, so uh, here are some pictures in front of my white screen so you can see better the details pretty I mean it's pretty good but it could look a little better it could be a little more it could be a little better painted uh, for $360 yeah could be a little better uh, the base over here it looks good but I don't like the design of it all that much could, could have a better design um, so here we have the back, and the back looks pretty good as well. We have a light-up feature on the back, too. We have the arm here. Pretty nice. The dark sword, once again. Um, then over here we have the shoulder pad. And the back. The back looks pretty good. Just, it's pretty sad that you don't see it on display. But yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, so we have the feet. The boots looks pretty good, I'd say overall they're pretty well painted, uh, especially on the back. And we have uh, the button over here, which is hidden on the back, but it's pretty uh, accessible. You can just uh, turn it on pretty easily. So uh, here is the the regular axe for those of you who can't get the exclusive or just want to see what it looks like with the axe. Looks pretty good as well. The axe is pretty well painted. Has a nice uh, detail to it. Uh, but I do prefer the shield. Although they both look pretty good. And this is what it looks like with my white screen. And I just wanted to once again compare this with the light on. Looks really nice with the light on. This is what you want it to look when you put it on display. But you can't always keep the light on so sometimes it's gonna look like that which looks fine but it still just doesn't look as good and kind of trying to show you the details on it so you can see the actual paint job and it's fine as I said it's fine it's a nice paint job but it could be a little better could have a little more weathering um, but yeah, it looks, it looks pretty good. And that's what it looks like in the game. I mean, in the game, it's black and gray. That's what it looks like. So it's overall, it's pretty accurate. There's a couple of little details missing uh, on, the, uh, on the statue. But overall, it's, it's pretty accurate, I'd say. Uh, comparison with the prototype, it's pretty hard to compare because of the lighting that gaming has used for their prototype pictures. But I'd say overall, it's pretty likely you see there's a downgrade there's a downgrade as always but it's really not too bad i'd say uh, so overall it's a pretty nice statue if you can get it i recommend it uh to me the dedrick armor was one of my favorite in the game design wise and i mean stat wise as well although it's not the best armor in the game uh, i also really like the dedra warriors and you know oblivion and Skyrim as well, were pretty badass enemies, so yeah, it's a pretty nice statue, I really like it. I like the, the face, the painted face, 
Also like the blackface, it's pretty nice that they included that, so if you want it to look just like in the game, you can. Uh, Exclusive Shield is pretty cool, but uh, you know the regular axe looks pretty nice as well on display, so yeah. It's a pretty nice statue. Could have a bit of a little better paint job, but the light up is just so good. It it just looks pretty good thanks to the light up. That's pretty much it for this review. Uh, thanks for watching and see you soon for another review.